On Monday, the baseball world said goodbye to Pete Rose. The legend known as Charlie Hustle died at the age of 83 at his home in Las Vegas. Earlier this week, we spoke to a former big leaguer in Visalia who knew him on and off the field. Baseball has lost its hit king. But for Woodlake alum and MLB veteran pitcher Ron Robinson, he lost a friend. I mean, it was a father image to me. A former first round selection by the Cincinnati Reds in the 1980 MLB draft, Robinson played for Rose. I was in the big leagues for three days and Pete Rose became the player manager. After four years in the Reds minor league system, Robinson finally got the call to the show. That's my first major league pitch. Eager to meet the man who was named the 1963 NL Rookie of the Year when Robinson was just a year old. I was staying in a hotel in downtown Cincinnati and I made sure I got up early and went to the clubhouse real early to meet Pete and uh, I wanted to be the first one. With three World Series titles, 17 All-Star appearances, an MVP, more hits, plate appearances and games played than anyone in Major League history, Rose's reputation spoke for itself. He was Elvis Presley for baseball. But Robinson says more than anything, Rose loved to win. You grow up imagining playing against guys like that. To play for him was great. He was intense, wanted to win at all costs. But that relentless competitive nature would get Rose into trouble. Hey, what do you think about this football game? You know, your dad's a coach. What do you think? And you watch football. And I think everybody kind of knew that he was uh, that kind of guy that liked to uh, put some money on some games. In 1989, Rose was banned from baseball for betting on the Reds team he managed. For 15 years, he denied the allegations. But in 2004, he'd admit to gambling as the Cincinnati skipper, rationalizing the move by saying he only bet on the Reds to win. I think there's a lot of worse guys in the Hall of Fame. The numbers are undeniable, but players like Rose on MLB's permanently ineligible list are not allowed to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. You can have a drug problem and they forgive you. If you have a gambling problem, they won't forgive you. In 2020, ESPN reported that the rule even applies to individuals after their death. And with Pete's passing, the Hall of Fame continues to exist without one of the greatest to ever play. Everybody needs a second chance, and he, he didn't get it in baseball. For the past week, the Reds faithful have been stopping by Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati to pay their tributes, dropping off roses for the man they called Charlie Hustle. Do you think we'll ever see another athlete like him? No. You'll never see anybody that intense. Pete played for pride. He played to win. For years, Robinson has stayed close with the Reds organization and fan base. He says if the ball club decides to hold a memorial, it'll be as big as the man they'll honor. I think it'll be as big as Babe Ruth. He's a hometown hero. It'll be the biggest thing that happened in Cincinnati in a long time. Whether or not Rose ever finds himself in Cooperstown is still up for debate, but Rose's impact on Robinson is not. I love him. He was a good person to me. Really mm. touching story there from Ron. Obviously knew him as a 22-year-old kid, 40 years later, reflecting on his passing. So we appreciate Ron taking the time. We know it was difficult for him, but one of the greatest to ever play, and Ron was right there in the front seat. And just mind-blowing, always, always a Valley time. Always a Valley connection. Yeah, great work on that. Thanks, Alec.